All right, today we're going to have a look at a universal cylindrical grinder. This is a fairly uh, compact machine. Uh, it's a Shigia model G20. Uh, this has automatic infeed, uh, plunge grinding, traverse grinding, a uh, spark out. Uh, you could adjust the amount of stock removal that you want. Uh, you've got uh, variable speed by, by a pulley of uh, different workhead speeds. We've got a pull down uh, ID attachment, plus you can swivel your wheel head and your headstock to a certain amount, which makes this a universal uh, ID OD grinder. Uh, you've got a taper adjustment over here with a dial indicator for your uh, table alignment. So this has um, some specifications I'm not really aware of, but you can get that off of our website. Uh, it's currently wired for 220 or three, uh, 230 volts, uh, so that's a low voltage, three phase. Um, you've got some timers up here that give you uh, time for dwelling and spark out and also uh, stroke counts when you're doing uh, longitudinal grinding. So I've got the machine running right now. The grinding wheel is on. Uh, this is a 14 inch wheel with a 5 inch bore. Uh, looks like about a you know, maybe one and three quarter, two inch wheel. You could certainly fit a two inch wheel on here, possibly larger. I'm not sure of that myself. Uh, so once the machine is all set up, which it is at the moment, all the operator would need to do is press cycle start button and the slide moves in and the table starts to move and your headstock comes on. And if you look here, you'll see that at each reversal uh, we'll feed a little bit. Now that's all adjustable with the knobs here and with some of these timers, how long that feeds for and how quickly it feeds. Uh, so that's all adjustable. Now this will continue like this down to zero. Uh, and then at that point your, your counter, spark out counter will come on and each time it goes back and forth uh, that will count that as one uh, stroke. So you set five strokes or whatever so that after you finish your part uh, you always go back and forth the same amount of times. Um, if you want to stop your cycle you press your cycle start and your hand wheel moves back to the beginning position. If you want to do a regular plunge grind we're going to turn the table off and we're going to select plunge grind on the selector switch. So now when I press my cycle start button, I'm going to just start my work head and I'm going to start feeding down continuously. This cycle is a lot quicker for a video. till we get to just before the zero and you'll notice it hopefully slow down. Um, there's two knobs here. The top one controls the course feed rate and the bottom one once you get uh, to the setting. What you set on this dial down here, this bottom dial, uh, when you put the machine in the manual mode and feed forward, uh, your wheel head will come all the way down. Now, I don't know if you notice these colored lights. When we do that cycle, we have the blue light comes on, tells us that we're in the automatic cycle. When we do get to the fine feed, uh, you will see the green light come on to indicate that you're at the fine feed. There you go. And then once it gets all the way to the dead stop, the, the end stop, you get your red and you get your timer going here. And then we're going to kick out and we're going to uh, retract our stock removal. Now I just noticed that I, I left off the uh, ear over here, but we do have it. It's sitting right over there on the table. Uh, I just forgot to put it on. So there you have it. Uh, it's got its own coolant tank mounted over here and hydraulic stuff in the back. Uh, it's got a special tank there next to it that it's, uh, constantly runs uh, spindle fluid through the spindle, the grinding wheel spindle. And again, this is a Shigia. It's made in Japan. It's a fairly uh, accurate and uh, high-end grinder. And there you have it.